Thank you, uh, Taoiseach. Taoiseach, uh, 15 months ago, our nursing homes and hospitals received their first COVID-19 patients. Since then, frontline healthcare workers have managed three waves uh, of the virus and a cyber attack. These people are now both mentally and physically exhausted. We must provide staff with time off because exhausted healthcare staff are uh, a recipe for mistakes. We must give proper recognition to staff at the front line in the battle against COVID-19. For example, the Scottish Government is paying every NHS worker a bonus of £500 sterling. Over the last year, Taoiseach, I have consistently raised this issue of recognising frontline workers with you and other members of government. They have been selfless and the country owes them a great debt of gratitude. And government must now recognise their efforts. Thank you, Deputy Nocton. Taoiseach, to conclude on this matter. I think it's a separate question, but um, it's more general to the health service. And uh, I've consistently said that the government uh, wishes to uh, recognise uh, frontline healthcare, uh, frontline, not just healthcare workers, but frontline workers, uh, and is uh, continuing to examine the optimal way of doing that. But of course, we're not out of the pandemic yet, um, and all our attention and focus is on making sure that we continue with the progress on the vaccination programme, the very positive impact that the vaccination programme is having on uh, prevalence of the disease, watching and monitoring variants such as the Delta variant, making sure it doesn't undermine our efforts to keep the, the virus under pressure. Um, and we will keep in touch with the deputy on the issue.